I have been to or competed at four Olympics, been to five. And that's what makes her the best bobsled, women's bobsled pilot in the world. It is gold for Team USA and Kaylee Humphreys. I know I want to still be an athlete. I want to go to 2026 and compete there, but I also want to start a family and I can't wait any longer to be able to do that. And so we've started the IVF process. I thought we were just gonna be able to do it the normal way, but turns out that that is not meant for me. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm meant to do hard things. Within sport, it's very similar. There is no guarantee you're gonna to go to an Olympics or you're gonna compete. There's injuries, there's other athletes, there's performance, there's real life that comes into it. And so it's a constant evolution. My body has spent years of performing when I ask it to. And this, in a similar sense, I'm gonna ask it to get pregnant and have a child and it's gonna be, you know, no problem. I'm healthy, I'm in peak shape, mentally, physically, it should all be good. Um, and I learned that that is not the case and it is out of my control. I had made this reel to try and capture a bit more of the whole process. There's part of you that feels ashamed, let down, like our, my body had failed us. We knew it felt better to share the process than it did to keep quiet about it or to feel embarrassed or bad. We've had so many people comment and people that I didn't even know that have gone through the process or, you know, have had endometriosis and their stories of becoming successful have helped provide a lot of hope for us. And then also just knowing that I'm not alone and I want other people to know they're not alone throughout this process. I think there's always been something a little bit in me that has wanted kids. At the same point, I wanted sport and to achieve my sporting goals and dreams more. And it was probably about four years ago, meeting my husband now and understanding that him and I both want a family and knowing he's the person I want to do that with, that's when everything kind of clicked. Whenever the time comes and I retire that I've helped change the sport, but I've given everything that I could possibly do to end the career to the best of my ability. And I don't feel like I'm at that point yet. I'm still having fun. I'm still enjoying what I do. At B at times are super stressful and hard. Um, I very much love what I do. And so the goal is 2026 and to win Olympic gold there. The ideal goal is to win gold in both events that women now have but ultimately I know how challenging that is. Um, but that's what we push for, that's what we strive for, will be double gold because no one's done that in our sport. Just because I have Olympic medals or I'm an Olympian doesn't mean, you know, I'm exempt from IVF or the challenges of life. IVF is a journey for a lot of women. It's not an easy process. IVF is really hard. Being an Olympic athlete is really hard and for very different reasons things people go through in life are very challenging and it doesn't mean we stop or we lose hope or we give up. It means that we continue to, to fight and push for what it is we want and whether it be it takes a month, a year, eight or ten years, you know, a 20 year career, I'm going to continue to fight for my hopes and goals and dreams and that won't stop through the IVF process and I hope other people don't give up on their goals and dreams.